Hello friends, my name is Ramesh and you are watching the How to Master YouTube channel. In the today's video, I am going to be telling you that how to automate your Android settings. You have used the Android and used all of the features of the Android. But have you used the feature that you can automatically do certain tasks like when you pin or plug in the headphones then your volume will automatically go down to 70% and when you unplug it the sound automatically go to 100% so this application is for all these this type of task so keep watching the video I'm going to be telling you these features okay so let's begin So first of all you have to go to the play store and download the application which is called automate it you have to go to the play store and in the play store you have to type automate it like so you have to type automate it and you will get the application which is here okay it is automate it's smart automation you have to download it and install i have already done it so then you have to go to the application when you will go to the application it will look like this but before that you will see a dialogue which will ask you to give permission for location access so you have to give permission and then you will the, the application will run so here we you have the dashboard and also you have my rules rules market history backup and or rules or restore rule if you want you have some settings, support, unlock features and all of these settings. So we have to go to my rules option and in my rule option you will have the application. Do you have these rules? These are all the say uh, eight rules. I have created two rules, the last two rules and the first six rules are pre-installed. So sorry pre-done. So uh, if you can do certain tasks like you can edit the existing rule, you can delete the rule, upload rule, perform and these action, copy the rule and extend rule history etc. Okay. Also you can create a new rule, you have to type on this plus button and sorry in the uh, after pressing on the plus button then you will see the menu like this. Now you have to select a trigger. So the trigger means that and the uh, the uh, this uh, the action you will uh, select will be performed when and uh, this type of trigger will be done like application status trigger uh, like the application status trigger it means that when the application will be launched then the following trigger will happen it means uh, i have i can add authenticator it means that when you will uh, launch this application then the action with this uh, the action you will select will be performed. So for example, start application action. It means that when you will uh, start the uh, application, uh, the Google Authenticator, then the application shall launch. It means that the, uh, this application, like the uh, the calculator, will launch. It means that this is the action now. When this will uh, this uh, application will be triggered, then this application will launch. It means which means that when you will open the authenticator according to this rule the action which is called calculator will be open and this is the now rule you can now uh, set the rule the rule name is start calculator okay so now i have written start calculator rule and show rule pop up and launch it means that it will show the pop up uh, the rule pop up when you will launch it okay so now i have created a rule now we have to save it okay so now i have saved this tool so now let's see what happens if i perform this application it means the trigger is application activated the authenticator will activate and when you will activate the authenticator then a calculator will start let's see if i open the authenticator See what happens here we go when i have pressed uh, i have tapped on the authenticator but the calculator is opening so this is how you can automate the settings many options you can make unlimited rules that you want 
and you have to simply select a trigger and after selecting a trigger you have to select the action and then you have to give the rule name you have to select the yes option and then you have to save it and you are done and by the, using this application you can perform all of the other tasks and you can perform many tasks so i hope that you like this video that how to automate your android setting if you like this video then please hit the like button if you have any question regarding this video then comment me down below the in the in below the description in the comment box also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press press on the bell icon because when you will press on the bell, bell icon then you'll be notified when i upload new videos so also follow my follow me on twitter and like my facebook page thanks for watching this video i will catch you in the next video